this truck comes and stops and the door opens to show you our associate director raghav dad mm. who uh, looking quite convincing as a potentially violent truck driver this is again a moment that i really like the fact that jay forgets to give aditi his hand he's so involved in meghna uh, a lot of good writing uh, happens this way what just happened although that wasn't conceived at the script level where you see a microcosm of of the larger theme in one moment people often say that the first few scenes of the movie should be a microcosm of what the whole film is about well you saw an example of that over there because in that one moment where jay is not aware of aditi and her feelings and she tries to she tries to stay cheerful about it that's really a microcosm of what the rest of the whole song is about so um you can also do good script writing at the choreography level and i think jiggy looks like a complete sweetheart with that goat i think he grew pretty attached to it now this is interesting because uh, the jeep that will drive up now i i always wanted a star to be in that jeep i i really wanted somebody who would make a brief appearance somebody who was well known but that is rajiv uh, who is a choreographer and i think he was basically filled in as being the best looking guy on the unit largely because we couldn't get a star to get puri for a day at the time but yeah it would have it would have been really cool if i don't know i don't know maybe john abraham drove by in that jeep and aditi was waving to him i love the way the song is shot i love the whole sense of landscape and very often when you see landscape songs in hindi films they tend tend to be this very post monsoon lush green landscape but as by and large this is how the indian landscape tends to look brown and dry there's another interesting history to this song um before we recorded the song finally we had uh, done another song which spoke all about rains because i was falling into the same trap of doing a post monsoon lush green song i thought rotlu was very funny there by the way um and that kept talking about uh, getting wet and soaking up life and you know running away from the sun and etc etc but by the time the schedules got changed and we were shooting the song it was october which is which is sometimes hotter than summer uh in western india and so we could of course no longer shoot a song about soaking up life and we uh, so i went to ar rahman and i said you know uh, boss we need to do another song here and what do you mean another song we've done a whole song and we've had like sonu nigam and somya rao and lots of singers uh singing it and i said yeah but that it's a song about rain and i need a song about the sun and i i i think he was confused for a while because what the hell do you mean you need a sunny song i'm like i just i just need a song that's more about the sun and he said well change the lyrics i said no boss it's not just the lyrics your tune is a wet tune over there it it carries the rain within it i need a i need a song that has the the dryness of the sun and I don't know if he quite understood what I was saying, but he gave me exactly the kind of song I wanted. So I'm assuming that, in spite of talking so incoherently, I made sense to him. I like this one shot. I, it was always conceived this way on the Steadicam, and it took a lot of takes. And we have a remarkable Steadicam operator called Bablu, who uh, who did this. He's a really strong man, and. Uh, Every time we did a shot that we thought was okay he would always come and say I think I can do one better I think I can do one better Now here's another interesting story we I I had asked for a bullock cart because my last shot was supposed to be all of them sitting in the cart but ultimately we ended up getting a cart on which only 3 people could sit and so I had to improvise and I think as a result I got the best shot in the film